What's up y'all, it's Bricks from Bricks Fitness and today's video is going to be 5 tips for reading for people who don't like reading. Does that sound right? The last tip was the one that really changed my life, so I want you to stick around for that one. I always hated reading, and I can't say that I enjoy the, the actual process of reading to this day. It was always really difficult for me to read for a few reasons. For one, I'm so easily distracted, so easily distracted. I could be in a white room with nothing but a chair and a book, and I will find something to draw my attention away from, from the book. I can't concentrate and I constantly feel restless like I like I'm always thinking about something else I need to do I'm pretty sure that's the ADD but this is the I'm, I'm just explaining to you my difficulties and my challenges when it came to reading and if I can overcome them and become a reader then these tips will definitely help you as well I'm a different person right now because I started reading seriously reading is such a powerful tool and I don't want to be up here sounding like Mr. Rogers or LeVar Burton. Reading played such a big role in my success in being able to transform my body because I was literally digesting every piece of reading material I can that had anything to do with exercise or nutrition. I was very, very armed with information on, on what to do in order to successfully lose weight. So one of the first pieces of advice I give to people is to do a lot of research when it comes to fitness and nutrition. And of course, you have to read in order to do that research. I believe that life the way our life looks, the quality of our life, is simply a reflection of our decisions. And I think I became a better decision maker once I started reading, which changed my life. Reading empowers you. Why do you think that slave owners didn't want their slaves to learn how to read? Think about it. Tip number one, read in small focused chunks. Kind of like the high intensity interval training of reading. I personally, my chunk is 20 to 25 minutes so I'll have 20 to 25 minutes of really intense focused reading and then I'll take a five or seven minute break um, this works best for me that time interval works best for me you kind of want to time yours kind of be aware of, of your focus we've all experienced when we're reading a book and then you know two or three pages later we're like yo I don't know what the hell I just read Focus real hard for 20, 25 minutes, take a five, seven minute break, and then get right back to it. Another tip, and this is something I recently started doing, scan the page and just look for the important stuff. You don't have to read every single word of every single book. And I used to think that, and it was very exhausting. I scan the page, kind of looking for key phrases that stand out. I promise you, I still... I still process the information just as well as I did when I read every single word. There's a lot of filler in books because an author's job is to have a bigger product to sell you. You have to, It has to be bigger than a, a pamphlet. And honestly, if they gave you just the meat and potatoes, the book would probably be really small. Tip number three, read books that interest you. Now, I don't mean topics that interest you because I've, I've read plenty books on topics that I was really passionate about but the author didn't do a good job of engaging me and that is the author's job it is their job to make it interesting so if it's not interesting then don't read that book move on to another book reading a dry boring book just makes it 20 times harder tip number four gamify your reading experience now I'm a person that's very driven by by gamifying what I mean by that is is make it an active activity it's not just like a passive you're sitting there reading a book you want to read to learn right so what i would do is i would i would search the book for for certain key phrases or words or, or paragraphs that i can highlight and i would collect these you know particular excerpts go back and, re and review them so i'm basically gamifying it by looking for things that stand out that i can go back to that are going to make me a smarter person I know that sounds corny. It is corny, but it's what I do and it works. Tip number five, and this one has been the absolute game changer for me. Read audiobooks. I don't care what anyone tells you. Reading an audiobook, you get the same advantages as you do if you're reading the actual book. What's important is you do it in a way that's most painless for you. 
So if you don't like reading, like if you're like me and if you read for more than 20 minutes, you start getting a headache or you can't focus or the, the gloss from the pages, just give, you know, make your eyes hurt or whatever the case may be, then fine. You don't have to read an actual book. You can listen to audiobooks. You can listen to podcasts. There's so many ways to get the information without having to actually crack a book, sit down. Like most people can't sit down long enough or a lot of us, we don't have the time. So with audiobooks, it gives you the flexibility to listen while you're doing your cardio, while you're driving in your car, while you're walking your dog. I hope this video was helpful to someone. Please comment below any video suggestions you may have. I really appreciate all the support, you guys. Please subscribe if you have not. I do have X Fat Boy shirts, Bricks Fitness, logo t-shirts, and Strong Mind, Strong Body t-shirts at BricksFitness.com. Please support the channel and purchase a shirt. I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys as always. So get well and get money.